Hi, I've got a playthrough up with these characters, Marin, Katya, and um, Araka, and um, had a bit of a bit of a surprise where on the morning of day eight, um, Araka froze to death. And um, so, what I did is we had a basic heater here, and I just had Marin upgrade it like so. And then what I did is I, I waited until about uh, 6 p.m. before filling it up with wood. So that meant that as soon as this um, heater is upgraded, you'll see that it drops to minus 5 degrees centigrade. So that meant that we spent most of the day um, at a negative temperature. We did end the day at um, 14 degrees C, but as mentioned, so there's your minus 5 degrees centigrade. So what I did is um, I had Marin put in a second heater. Uh, we're actually a um, few components short. So in each of these scenarios, um, Franco diligently arrived and I bought the five components needed. Done. So that way Marin could put in a second heater. like so so in this scenario um Araco is slightly sick so what i did is i kept it identical for um both sets of actions here so i put her on meds so that nothing was different between the two sets of um the two scenarios that we create here so then Araco goes back to bed and she stays there so what we did is, um, in one scenario, I waited until 6 p.m. before putting any wood on either of these heaters. And then at 6 p.m., I filled them both up with wood. And uh, when we did that, the temperature at the end of the day was in excess of 20 degrees centigrade. And 15 degrees, you need it higher than 15. Um, so 20 plus is, yeah, that's as good as you can get. In the other scenario, as soon as Marin finished upgrading this heater, he immediately stacked it with six wood. And then as soon as he was able to make this one, he immediately stacked it with six wood again. So that way we spent the absolute minimum amount of time during the day at um, a low temperature. So the only difference between the two scenarios was that in one scenario, we stacked the heaters full of wood at 6 p.m. In the other one, we stacked the heaters full of wood as soon as we possibly could. And in both scenarios, we ended up the day at higher than 15 degrees centigrade. So then what I did is I went out looting, came back in the morning and just tried to see what the result was. And here's the results. So you can kind of see two columns there and you can kind of guess which one um, is the column where we filled the heaters as soon as we could. And that's the first column, of course. In the second column, um, where we filled the heaters at 6 p.m., you could see that we froze to death three times out of the 20 times that I did this, because I reran it 20 times. Um, so I restarted the day 20 times under each scenario, a total of 40 times. So the first column there is the results from the uh, 20 scenarios where we filled the heaters ASAP. And that sec second column is uh, the results where we filled the heaters at around 6 p.m., spending most of the day at a negative temperature. So as you can see, first column, um, 14 of the occasion, 20 occasions. Nobody was sick the next day, even though um, Araka started sick the day before. Now, in four of those um, scenarios, somebody was slightly sick, usually Araka, the next day, because these are the weaker meds, so it didn't work, so it had really nothing to do with the temperature. And in only one occasion was somebody sick, which is a second level of sickness. But really curiously, on one of the 20 occasions, somebody froze to death. Now that second column there is when we waited until 6 p.m. before. So I'm just going to actually pause it there because um, so that we don't accidentally end the day. So that second column there, that's the 20 scenarios where we um, where we filled the wood, for, sorry, we filled the heaters with wood at the last possible moment, around 6 p.m. Now, if you're sharp, 
cited, you could see that actually adds up to 21. Reason for that being that there was one day where we had two people slightly sick. But as you can see, there's quite a significant difference between the two of them. Um, on only five occasions, did um, everybody, um, was everybody okay? On eight occasions, somebody was slightly sick. On the five occasions, somebody was on the second level of sickness. Uh, seriously, seriously ill, none, but on three out of the 20 occasions, somebody froze to death. So to me, looking at those two columns, that's a significant difference. Now, in both scenarios, we ended up at higher than 15 degrees centigrade. Um, I read years ago that it was the temperature at the end of the day that was, that was important, but these numbers suggest otherwise, that it's somehow either the average temperature during the day or some sort of random temperature taken. Um, at some, or rather the temperature taken at some sort of random point in the day, which could possibly explain, explain that one frozen result when we upgraded the heaters and filled them with wood as soon as we possibly could. Because in that scenario, I think we got to 15 degrees by around t somewhere between 10.30 and 11 a.m. So there was a very short period um, in that scenario where we were at a negative temperature. So if the results were to be taken from a random point in the day, it's possible that that random point could have been just before we filled the heaters at around 10 a.m. But anyway, that's a result I did not expect. I always thought and have said in my multiple playthroughs that it's the temperature at the end of the day that's important, not the temperature during the day. And that I think is wrong. So. Anyway, from now on, I uh, won't be saying that again anymore. And uh, but be aware that as soon as you upgrade a heater, e even if it you immediately fill it with wood like we did, um, you put yourself at risk of somebody freezing to death, even if the temperature goes negative for a very short period of time. So that was a surprise, I think. But anyway, hope you found that interesting, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.